astigmatic keratotomy. It's such an invaluable tool for correction of astigmatism. We explain astigmatism to patients using two items, a ping pong ball and a spoon. We state that the front window of the eye, the cornea, ideally should be perfectly round like a ping pong ball, which is a perfect sphere and has the same curvature in all directions. Astigmatism occurs when the cornea is not perfectly round and has a steeper and a flatter meridian like the back of a spoon. Astigmatism causes distortion and blur of image quality. The goal of astigmatic keratotomy is to reduce the astigmatism by making the cornea more round or spherical, less like the back of a spoon and more like the shape of a ping pong ball. If the cornea can be made more spherical, then the patient will see better. So who is a good candidate for astigmatic keratotomy? Patients who have myopic astigmatism where the spherical equivalent will result in a favorable postoperative refraction. AK works on the principle of coupling where the reduction in astigmatism will result in a 50% reduction in the magnitude of the spherical component of the refraction. For examples, let's take a look at some refractions. The first refraction, minus one sphere, plus 1.5 diopters of astigmatism at axis 90. So to determine if this is a suitable refraction that lends itself to correction by AK, we, we look at the cylinder, 1.5 diopters, and divide it by two, which makes plus 0.75. We add that plus 0.75 result to the sphere. And the final refraction, if we correct all of that astigmatism, is the sum total of the sphere and the cylinder, which is divided by 2. So in this case, it's minus 1 plus 75, which would equal minus 0 0.25 sphere. Therefore, this refraction, if treated with astigmatic keratotomy, should result in a minus 0 0.25 spherical postoperative refraction, which is highly desirable and compatible with excellent long distance vision. The second refraction, minus 0 0.75 plus 1 at axis 13. Here again, we look at the cylinder plus 1 diopter. We divide the cylinder by 2, which is plus 0 0.5. We add that result, the plus 0 0.5, to the sphere. So plus 0 0.5 added to minus 0 0.75 equals minus 0 0.25 sphere. So the final refraction, if we treat that minus 75 plus 1 axis 13 with AK, should be minus 0 0.25 sphere. So how does AK work? The astigmatic incision is placed on the steeper axis of corneal curvature, and it will cause a microscopic incisional gape, which will cause corneal flattening in that axis, thus reducing the astigmatism. How is astigmatic keratotomy performed? How do we do it? Preoperatively, we need a rock-solid refraction. Corneal topography is also required. We inform the patient of the risk benefits and alternatives of AK and the likelihood of achieving a refractive outcome that the patient will be satisfied with. It only takes about three minutes to perform this painless procedure. We instill three drops of propericaine anesthetic, then place a mark at the three and nine o'clock positions of the limbus while the patient is sitting upright. Then the patient is reclined and positioned under the operating microscope. An eyelid holder is placed to keep the eyelids apart. The patient is then asked to look straight ahead at a fixation light. We use an astigmatic keratotomy nomogram that works as follows for the average 65 to 75 year old patient. The diamond blade is preset to 600 microns depth. We apply that 600 micron diamond using an eight millimeter optical zone. Each two millimeter incision or 30 degrees of arc produces one diopter of corneal flattening. Two 
two millimeter incisions, one on each side, will produce two diopters of corneal flattening. For younger patients, we will be more aggressive than this nomogram, making longer incisions. And for older patients, we're less aggressive than this nomogram and make shorter incisions. So again, this patient has a refraction of minus 0.75 plus one at 13. We mark the cornea with an eight millimeter optical zone marker painted with gentian violet ink. Then we mark the steep axis of astigmatism with an axis marker. Finally, we mark the length of the incisions straddling the steep axis. In this case, one doctor of flattening is desired we, we set our calipers to two millimeters and then place the mark, straddling the steep axis. A few surgical pearls. Stabilize the eye with 0.12 forceps with teeth to provide counter traction and prevent torque of the eye from the diamond blade. We either move the diamond away or toward the 0.12 forceps with teeth. Also, stabilize the hand with the 600 micron guarded diamond on the patient's face or cheek so that the diamond will move in sync with the patient if the patient moves suddenly. The incision usually takes about five to 10 seconds. We usually make one pass and then a pass in the opposite direction to make sure the incision is at the full depth of the diamond blade set at 600 microns. So what are the results? For most patients, there's a 90% chance that we will achieve enough astigmatic reduction that the patient will be happy with their improved vision. For 10% of patients, we will need to deploy LASIK or PRK to fine tune their astigmatism as AK sometimes just doesn't work well enough. But the beauty of AK is that it is quick, safe, and cost effective. The supplies needed are an operating microscope, diamond blade, caliper, axis marker, optical zone marker, 0.12 forceps with teeth, and an eyelid speculum. We don't need a femtosecond or eczema laser, which carry much greater costs for the patient and surgeon. What's the postoperative management and the recovery? We have the patients use a combination antibiotic steroid drop three times a day for five days, then stop it. The patients usually return one week after their procedure so we can assess their refractive result. Patients usually have a scratchy sensation or some stinging for at most three hours. Virtually all patients should be able to resume normal activities the same day, and for most, vision improves within one day. I hope this tutorial on astigmatic keratotomy was helpful. It's a super useful tool and technique for treatment of astigmatism. Thank you for your time and attention, and have a wonderful day.